tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. Okay, so, well, I've always really dreamed of jump of being um, a performer ever since I was a little girl. And until now, I'm still a dreamer. I still have these big hopes of having this career and building my craft and really, you know, really getting good at it to the level of being able to act in movies and TV shows. And slowly, I'm I'm achieving those dreams like in little ways so I have upcoming shows and I've been given a platform for my songs I've been singing and writing my own music and I feel like at this stage it's just for me it, it, it's the point in my life where I'm really learning and discovering my path so basically it's just always being in the moment and preparing for whatever is gonna happen next so yeah, it's like I, I have I my goal there, but wherever God yeah. places me, yeah, I will just appreciate it and okay, just learn. Well, um, well, my main mentor up to date is my mother. She is my mentor all throughout um, with everything. But also, since I grew up with a theater background, I'm super thankful to Tito Michael and you guys because you really helped and guided me. And Tita Baby Barredo. She, she was the head of repertory before and my first my first musical professional play was with her so parang being placed in an environment like that where everyone's a professional and you have baby bread there and you know how wow. she directs she's very strict and she's you know you'll really learn and you'll really grow up so having them as mentors and tita isa and robert senya they yes, really Robert. they really helped me also with yeah with my musicality and being able yes. to be confident on stage actually growing up i didn't I feel up. any pressure at all because it just felt wow. like you know the thing that she was my mom she was just my lola and everything <laughs> was so natural and normal like i thought that acting was just something that we do every day something like that but like now now, as I'm getting into it, and when I meet people, and they really, when they find out, actually, I don't tell people that I'm related to them because, because when people find out that I'm related to them, I, ikaw pala si ano ni ano, alam mo ba yung mo, ni mo ang sexy niya natin ng araw, bakit ikaw ganyan? So I get comparisons like that, and I call ako when. Sophie, Sophie, akala ko ito nahihiya mo ako, kaya pala hindi mo ko sinasabi nanay ko, ay nanay. Hindi, wala problema. Masyadong pressure oh. kasi. Oo, oh, kasi yeah. alam mo nung in this. When, when, when they talk yeah. about my Lola babes man, I'm not allowed to call her Lola, so I hope she's not watching, or she watches, sorry. So babes, with babes naman, so they tell me how much of a great, great host she is and how she can talk on and on and that she's really fluent with her words and like me naman i'm kind of you know i, I like say the thing with the thingy you know i grew up with that type of words and they're like are you sure you're her granddaughter like that and then when it comes to paraluma naman of course when they're like si paraluman yung sa kanta and i'm like yeah she's my lola like that and they're like wow ganda talaga non like that so I'm like, I really get pressured coming from this whole lineage, especially when they start talking about them. But now, instead of like filling my head with the pressure, I just take it as an advantage. Now at least I have great people who can back me up and guide me through everything. So yeah, hindi ko na kayo kinakaya, mom, just to clarify. <laughs> yeah, and no, I can personally attest to that. I, I've been to a lot of auditions that I've been turned down and it's really it's really hard if, if you don't love what you do because you'll really get yeah. turned down and it's easy to just say you know what okay maybe this isn't for me but it's your love for what you do that's gonna keep you going yeah that's true and Rina you know you know what it's like when you have to audition as a professional actor uh, and, and if you don't have the passion how do you keep that that, that, you know, momentum. No, I give you a tip, huh? So you don't, <laughs> so you don't get discouraged so much. Before I go to an audition, I make sure that I'm prepared. Number two, may bagay bang rules sa akin. 
number number three is like the director is he looking for actual or he's going to turn me around and make it up and work with me yung, yung mga ganun. I, I don't like kasi wasting my time so much no i mean even for 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 foreign films before i used to always go for editions and i would get it greasy the most important one tom cruise <laughs> I think it was like the part when they were saying, uh, I said, so who's the actor? They said, Dog Bruce. And I was like, oh my gosh, are you serious? I was going like that. I shouldn't have reacted like that. I should go, ah, oh, yeah, okay, good. <laughs> no, that was one of my turn downs, but most of it was like that because nga, inaaral ko rin yung. I mean, will I go? Will I not go? Is there a role? How's my director? What is he looking for? Am I prepared? And 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 yon. I used to always constantly prepare myself. In a day since sabi ko ito na yung career ko, de ba? And and I used to put a structure. Okay, today I have to practice singing. I have to watch a movie. I used to work a lot on the mirror. And then there's a lot of internal analysis of who I am, what I can do. It's really a journey in self-discovery and what you have. Because what will you give the character if it's not within your subconscious, conscious, or aaralin mo or imbibe it to become it, diba? So yes. I used to schedule that. My mom and I used to find it weird that you're going to the movies again. It's part of my job. Parang ganon. You're watching this Betamax movie again? Beta. Betamax. Beta Okay. Wow. <laughs> Can you rewind? Okay. You're watching that again. Yeah, I'm studying something, you know. And then I used to crash the whole house by singing yeah. or or learning a new but so I had I had a way of like I would vocalize and because I was singing singing, so I would have a repertoire and study that song and bring it to my singing teacher. I took a very, very structured me schedule. Try to say, yeah. uh, stay sane and productive and prayerful this pandemic. I know this can drive us nuts. But, you know, I really think, like, if you find um, a passion of yours that you wanted to do or keep busy uh, and, and stay focused uh, on the Lord, you're going to yeah. be all right. We will weather this. We are, we will overcome, no? And, um, Stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on Z81 Radio, Manila.